Now how much would you pay? You can get the Ginsu knife, the matching carving fork, the versatile 6-in-1 kitchen tool, a set of 6-steak knives, and... Oh, that was a gray. A gray what? A gray extraterrestrial. What? A gray extraterrestrial from Zeta Reticuli. What? From where? Just watch the movie. What? Many of us have a fascination about extraterrestrials and life outside of our solar system and galaxy. Hollywood shares this fascination, but more often than not, the Hollywood extraterrestrials are nefarious and for whatever reason, they want to destroy humanity. Let's take a look at the top eight extraterrestrial races shown in Hollywood movies. One of the earliest movies in Hollywood that features extraterrestrial beings is A Trip to the Moon from 1902. This silent film is considered one of the pioneering works in cinema and has had a significant impact on the history of filmmaking. In A Trip to the Moon, a group of astronomers take a space journey to the moon and encounter extraterrestrial inhabitants known as selenites. Apparently, if you attack these beings, they blow up into a cloud of smoke. As compelling of a storyline as it is, it was the first movie to feature extraterrestrials. The underlying sentiment, however, is mankind's curiosity with life beyond our own planet. Hollywood frequently utilizes fear as a strategy to boost movie ticket sales. While some individuals enjoy an occasional horror film, a significant number of movies provoking the same emotional response tend to incorporate the fear factor. Here's my N5D top 8 list of extraterrestrial alien races featured in Hollywood movies. And also, please note, many of these are archetypes that fall into a category of extraterrestrials or an extraterrestrial storyline. Number 1. Reptilians Reptilian beings are portrayed with humanoid bodies but with reptile-like features, including scales and sometimes a more lizard-like appearance. They are often depicted as powerful and secretive. Reptilian extraterrestrials have appeared in various Hollywood movies, often playing the role of villains or mysterious visitors from beyond. The 1983 miniseries and 2009 miniseries V features a race of reptilian aliens disguised as humans who come to Earth with seemingly good intentions but ultimately reveal their sinister plans for domination. In the 1995 movie Species, a genetically engineered reptilian humanoid escapes a scientific facility and embarks on a murderous rampage. The film's creature design combined human features with reptilian characteristics like scales, claws, and a forked tongue. It kind of makes you wonder why part of the human brain is called the reptilian brain. In 1987, the movie Predator featured a team of elite soldiers being hunted by a technologically advanced extraterrestrial predator with reptilian-like features, inspiring numerous sequels and spin-offs. 1997 gave us Men in Black, where secret agents encountered various aliens, including some with reptilian features. While not the main antagonists, these reptilian aliens add to the film's wacky and diverse cast of extraterrestrial beings. And some adults may remember seeing Slee Stacks on the Saturday morning show Land of the Lost, where the Marshall family is trapped in an alternate universe inhabited by dinosaurs, a primate like people called Pakuni, and aggressive humanoid lizard creatures known as Slee Stacks. Number two, Grays. Often depicted with large heads, almond-shaped eyes, and slender bodies, greys are a common extraterrestrial race associated with abduction stories and close encounters. In the 1997 movie Men in Black, Agent J and Agent K encounter a farmer who claims to have been abducted by aliens from the Zeta Reticuli II star system, which many people believe the greys originate from. One of the most popular and endearing greys is from the movie E.T. Greys are also featured in movies such as Close Encounters of the Third Kind and The Fourth Kind. Number 3. Humanoids A humanoid is a non-human entity with human form or characteristics. A great humanoid example would be Mork and Mindy, specifically 
Mork from Ork. The humor in the show could be found in Mork's funny and sometimes clueless encounters with Earth's culture. The cult classic from 1988, They Live, features aliens who appear indistinguishable from humans, but if you wear special sunglasses, it reveals their true reptilian appearance and their subliminal messages controlling society. Many people believe this is a documentary on consumerism and media manipulation. This movie makes for a thought-provoking portrayal of extraterrestrials among us. The 2009 movie Avatar shows the humanoid-like race, the Nabi, who are a tall blue-skinned race with long tails and bioluminescent markings, living in harmony with nature on Pandora. Number 4. Martians Often depicted as invaders or visitors from Mars, Martians have been featured in movies such as War of the Worlds, where they're depicted as highly advanced and hostile who beings. invade Earth using powerful tripods equipped with heat rays. The novel, published in 1898, has been adapted in various films, radio dramas, and other media over the years. Notably, the 2005 film adaptation, directed by Steven Spielberg, features the Martians as formidable adversaries in their attempt to conquer Earth. Other movies that include Martians include John Carter from 2012 and Total Recall from 1990. Now, in Total Recall, the Martians are most likely humanoids, but we never see them. They're described by Arnold Schwarzenegger's character as having reddish-brown skin, but then again, these characteristics were from what appeared to be his false memories of being on Mars. And let's not forget the American sitcom, my Favorite Martian that aired from 1963 to 1966. The show revolves around the misadventures of a Martian who becomes stranded on Earth. The Martian, named Uncle Martin, assumes a human appearance and tries to keep his true identity a secret. Nor can we forget Marvin the Martian from the Bugs Bunny cartoon series. Marvin the Martian is often depicted as a hapless antagonist trying to carry out his plans, which usually involves some form of technological devices, like his Illudium Q36 space modulator intended to destroy Earth or interfere with other characters, particularly Bugs Bunny. Number 5. Insectoids Insectoid aliens are characterized by their insect-like features such as exoskeletons and multiple limbs. They are often portrayed as highly intelligent and organized beings. In the 1977 movie Starship Troopers, it features a war between humans and a race of insectoid aliens known as the Arachnids. In 1997, Men in Black showed a plethora of alien life and while not exclusively insectoid, the film includes various alien species, and one of the characters, Edgar the Bug, has insectoid and possibly mantid features. While both mantids and insects belong to the broader category of anthropods, the design of Edgar the Bug in the movie is more reminiscent of a giant cockroach than a mantid. Independence Day, which came out in 1996, features biomechanical and insectoid-like beings called the Harvesters, with exoskeletons and features reminiscent of large arthropods. Number 6. Mantids or Mantis Beings Mantid aliens are depicted with features resembling praying mantises. They are often portrayed as highly intelligent and spiritually advanced beings in science fiction, but not in every case. Mantid aliens are depicted with features resembling praying mantises. They are often portrayed as highly intelligent and spiritually advanced beings in science fiction, but not in every case. In 2017, Alien Covenant shows a mantid-like race of beings that are malevolent in nature. In this film, the crew of a colonization ship encounters mantid-like beings on a remote planet. The design of these creatures includes features similar to praying mantises, such as elongated limbs and a somewhat insectoid-like appearance. The movie Men in Black 2, which came out in 2002, has a number of extraterrestrial entities and one of them is a giant mantid-like alien referred to as Jara. Jara is more of a hybrid with a humanoid head attached to mantid-like limbs with exoskeleton elements. Number 7. The Antarians 
The Antarian race is from the 1985 movie Cocoon. Before Cocoon, there are no accounts of this fictitious benevolent race ever existing. Yet the movie did very well at the box office and was a commercial success, grossing over $85 million. However, the 1988 sequel did not fare as well, grossing $25 million, which was still a lot of money in 1988, but not enough to make it a blockbuster. Number 8. The Anunnaki The Anunnaki are often portrayed as ancient extraterrestrial beings with ties to Earth's history. They are often associated with the genetic manipulation of our DNA and intervention in human affairs. The following movies feature the Anunnaki or Anunnaki-like characters in their storylines. Chariots of the Gods, made in 1970. While not a fictional narrative film, this documentary explores the theory that advanced ancient civilizations received guidance from extraterrestrial beings, possibly the Anunnaki. Prometheus is a sci-fi movie that explores the genesis of humanity and showcases humanoid extraterrestrial entities that exhibit certain similarities to the Anunnaki. Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull involves ancient extraterrestrial beings which some people have drawn parallels to Anunnaki-like concepts. Unfortunately, there are not a lot of Anunnaki-type movies in Hollywood. As fascinating of a storyline as it is for those of us who are awakened, Hollywood doesn't find the Anunnaki quite as compelling or they're trying to hide the story of the Anunnaki because if the truth ever came out, then the whole creator story of religion would be questioned as well. If the Sumerian cuneiform is correct, then many movies with a religious base would be taking their storylines from the Anunnaki. Honorable Mention while there are a number of extraterrestrial races and archetypes found in Hollywood movies, not all of them made our list. The Pleiadians. Pleiadians are often depicted as human-like and having a beautiful appearance. They are often portrayed as benevolent and show a concern about Earth's well-being. There is a movie from 1988 called The Pleiadian Connection based on a contactee's accounts of extraterrestrial communication with the Pleiadian race. In 1975, Billy Meyer began a series of personal contacts with ETs from a cluster of stars known as the Pleiades, including conversations with Semyazi, the Pleiadian cosmonaut, but the Pleiadians aren't really referenced or mentioned in Hollywood movies, which is why they didn't make the list. Nordics or Tall Whites Nordic aliens are typically portrayed as tall, human-like beings with blonde hair and blue eyes. They are often depicted as benevolent and advanced in spiritual and technological aspects. You might see them in movies like Men in Black or in programs like Ancient Aliens and Star Trek, but they're never actually defined as being what they are. Arcturians The Arcturians have always been here, silently monitoring human progress, along with several other races. But now they're all returning home. You mean evacuating. So now we really are alone. Arcturians are humanoid beings from the Arcturus star system. They are often depicted as wise and spiritually evolved entities with a positive influence on humanity. The famous prophet Edgar Cayce spoke of the Arcturians in his readings connecting Arcturus with Atlantis. Some people believe that Arcturians were in the 2016 movie Arrival, but that's pure speculation. I don't understand. What? Is your purpose here? Delving into this subject a little bit deeper, the oldest novel to mention extraterrestrials is Micromegas, written by French philosopher and writer Voltaire. Micromegas was first published in 1752. The main characters are inhabitants of Saturn and Sirius. Micromegas is considered a pioneering work in the genre of science fiction and is notable for its early depiction of extraterrestrial beings in literature. Now the presence of extraterrestrials goes even further back. The Dogon tribe from Mali have their own extraterrestrial creation myth passed down for generations 
Dogon mythology shows us encounters with the Nomo, who are amphibian-like beings from Sirius B. And then we have the fish people. According to ancient Babylonian texts, Oannes was a fish-like creature who emerged from the Persian Gulf to bring knowledge and civilization to humanity. Oannes is described as having a lower body of a fish and the upper body of a man. It was said that Oannes taught humans various arts and sciences, contributing to their cultural and intellectual development. It's often speculated that the Pope's mitre is actually an homage to Oannes. It also might help to explain why the Roman Catholic Church has the world's most powerful telescope, interestingly called Lucifer, which just happens to be a handy acronym for Large Binocular Telescope Near Infrared Spectroscopic Utility with Camera and Integral Field Unit for Extragalactic Research. Okay, yeah. A couple of left-wing fact-checking websites will argue that the Vatican doesn't own a telescope called Lucifer, but that's only in semantics, as the name was changed from Lucifer to Lucy in 2012, as confirmed by Google Bard. The Tassili Nadjer rock paintings in Algeria date back to between 9,000 and 12,000 years ago. These paintings depict humanoid figures with elongated heads and strange clothing, often in interacting with strange objects and celestial bodies. Some interpret them as evidence of encounters with extraterrestrial beings or celestial beings. The Valca Monica rock engravings in Italy are estimated to be between 7,000 and 10,000 years old. These petroglyphs show figures with exaggerated limbs and heads, sometimes aboard what resembles a spacecraft. The Sumerian cuneiform tablets in Mesopotamia tell the story of the Epic of Gilgamesh, which was inscribed around 5,000 years ago. This cuneiform mentions the Anunnaki gods who descended from the heavens. Long before Zechariah Sitchin's work with cuneiform, there was a man by the name of George Smith, who worked for the British Museum and was paid only to work on cuneiform tablets. He deciphered the Epic of Gilgamesh along with a story resembling the Great Flood mentioned in the Bible. The underlying theme for all of this reflects a deeper yearning for connection and understanding beyond our known horizons that transcends our boundaries of our own earthly world. Perhaps by exploring these Hollywood alien archetypes, we're hoping to find our place amongst the countless possibilities of extraterrestrial races throughout the cosmos. Shazbat, Nano Nano. I'd like to thank everyone who has helped to support my work on Patreon. Please join me there at patreon.com slash n5d and get a shout out on upcoming N5D production videos, as well as being listed on our wall of gratitude featured on n5d.com. If no one has told you this yet today, please allow me to be the first. You are loved. You are appreciated. Thank you for your service to humanity. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Until the next time, I'm Greg Prescott from N5D.com, sending you all infinite love and light from my heart to yours. Take care, everyone.